Friday, May 29th, 2013. Infamous abortion rights activist Henry Morgan Teller dies at the age of 90. He will always be remembered as either a hero who gave women a right, a choice of not suffering, not having to carry and raise a baby when they clearly can, can't, or he is treated as an evil satanic mass murderer who can be compared to the likes of Hitler. There's even a Facebook page dedicated to him rotting in hell. No doubt he was a controversial figure. See, in 1998, he won a case overthrowing Canada's laws on abortion. Now, the big question is, was what he did right? Or was it wrong? Was he a hero? Or was he a villain? You know, in a perfect world, there would be no abortions because they won't be necessary. But we do not live in a perfect world. Not everyone can afford to raise a baby. Adolescents who made a mistake of satisfying their primal urges and having to pay for it for the rest of their lives. People who live in extremely poor districts and their birth control didn't work and they can't afford to raise a baby. And what about the lives of the baby? How would he or she grow up in an environment where their teen mother was raped by a violent criminal and having to suffer the consequences of something that she did not do? Of getting raped, like how could anyone have to suffer for getting raped? This isn't Iran. These people would literally die if a baby came out. A girl should not have to suffer for something that she did not do, let alone her child. How do you think a child would grow up if he was raised in a household with a dysfunctional family and has half the genes of a violent rapist? People like Justin Bieber, oh, you gotta give the baby a chance, man. Well, you've never carried a child. You've never been raped and forced to carry that child. Would you rather kill a sperm and an egg or rather let someone suffer for, the, for their entire lives and get tortured by their mistakes or someone else's mistakes? It's just a sperm and an egg. They are released and killed all of the time. Are we gonna make ejaculation illegal? Are we gonna make a woman having their period illegal? Life does not begin at a union of two of the millions of things that we have, and some of us are constantly regenerating. Life begins when two of these things meet and develop and turn into something beautiful, something unique. This is what human life is. Dr. Henry Morgan Teller prevented countless a woman from potentially killing themselves from doing illegal clothes hanger abortions because they are desperate enough to do it. He is not an evil killer. He is a hero who saved lives and advanced women's rights. And for you to try and assault him in life, then celebrate his death. Celebrate. I mean, I don't like Margaret Thatcher, but that doesn't mean when she died, I, I, I celebrated and say something like, ding dong, the witch is dead. What sort of human would cheer when a man dies? I mean, I don't care what your beliefs are. Let's just put our, my arguments aside. You can't cheer when a human dies. That's awful, that's inhumane. I only have one word for people who do such a thing, who applaud when someone dies. Go to hell!